Hello and welcome you all friends in our attempt of solving questions from J Advance 2018 Physics Section B we have now come to question number 10 our next question is a moving coil galvanometer has 50 turns and each turn has an area 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square the magnetic field produced by the magnet inside the galvanometer is 0.02 tesla the torsional constant of the suspension wire is 10 to the power minus 4 newton meter per radian when the current flows through the galvanometer a full scale deflection occurs if the coil rotates through 0.2 radians the resistance of the coil of the galvanometer is 50 ohms this galvanometer is to be converted into an ammeter capable of measuring a current from 0 to 1 ampere for this purpose a shunt resistance is to be added in parallel to the galvanometer the value of this shunt resistance comma in ohms is dash very clearly this is a question taken from magnetic effects of current and the conversion of a galvanometer into an ammeter of desired range and the answer to the question is to be given without any units but in the numerical form with the two digits after the decimal before going further please press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive the notification of all my future videos let us now try to solve this question if ig and g represent respectively the full scale deflection current and the resistance of the galvanometer then the value of the shunt resistance as required to convert this galvanometer into an ammeter of range 0 to i amperes is given by s equals ig into g divided by i minus ig equation 1 in the given problem the value of i and g are given however the value of ig the full scale deflection current is not given so first of all let us try to find out the value of ig when the coil is placed in a magnetic field of induction b then the torque experienced by the coil is given by tau equals n into b into a into ig equals k theta or ig equals k theta divided by n into b into a substituting the values of k theta n b and a we get ig equals 10 to the power minus 4 into 0.2 divided by 50 into 0.02 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 which equals 0.1 amperes using equation 1 we get s equals 0.1 into 50 divided by 1 minus 0.1 which equals 5.5555 ohms rounding it to two digits after the decimal we get s equals 5.56 ohms so our right answer to this question is 5.56 without any units this is also a very simple question what actually is required is the peace of mind in the examination friends you can see for yourself that in all these questions the examiner is not giving any question from a single chapter rather he is combining two chapters together however the concept used from each chapter is very very simple so therefore the questions are not very difficult i hope you enjoyed this question in case you have any difficulties 
please do comment and i will answer all your questions do visit us again for our next video and don't forget to comment like and share this video till then happy learning